Hello again folks and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today back in Rattington which is of course in Lancashire and I'm stood just outside a little area of Rattington that's known locally as Unger Hill. Now I don't know about you but there's times when I've been to places and I've seen the names and I've thought I wonder why that place is called that and what's the story behind it. Well today we're going to take a little look at the reasons why this area of Rattington is called Unger Hill. So I'm going to now get off this busy main road and away from this traffic and we'll reconvene in the old jalopy and I'll tell you the story behind why this particular place is named Unger Hill. There we go folks, that's a bit better isn't it? I can hear myself think now. So, getting back to our story regarding why this particular area of Rattington here in Lancashire is known as Hunger Hill, we have to go back to the year 1648, which was the time of the Second English Civil War. Contrary to popular belief, there's a number of little wars that make up the Civil War. It's not just uh, one big long war. And like I said, how this area got its name happened during the second one. So what happened in 1648? There was a big battle known as the Battle of Preston, which funnily enough happened at the town of Preston. And the Royalist forces at the time and during that battle outnumbered the parliamentarians by almost twice the amount of soldiers, so they had superior numbers behind them. But despite that, that battle just went wrong for the Royalists. You know, whether or not it was poor command decisions or whatever, that's not been recorded. But what is recorded is that they lost the supplies at Darwin Bridge. This is where the trouble started beginning for them because this led to tired battle weary soldiers but mainly hungry soldiers the old saying you know the army marches on its stomach and all that well these guys was running on empty so the commander he realized uh, you know things are getting a bit uh, a bit bad here and you know we're getting our asses kicked so the best thing we can do is make our way back to Wigan which is still a royalist stronghold and meet up with reinforcements that should be making the way up from the town. Remember, all this is being done on foot. There's no mobile phones or anything like that. So it's all guesswork, you know, it's all down to the planning. And that plan went wrong because, rather comedically, the um, reinforcements, they was on one road and uh, battle-weary heroes were on another and they missed one another. So they just carried on, you know, they just thought, if we can get to Wigan... That's all that matters. But by the time they got here to Rattington, which is just a, a few miles away from Wigan, they just they just had enough. They were just that tired. They were that hungry. They just decided, we'll make camp here for the night. You know, the parliamentarians, they're not after us. They're not chasing us. You know, we're pretty safe here. And we'll, uh, we'll just reconvene in the morning. So they stopped here for a meal. And it was the soldiers themselves that named this area Unger Hill because they was hungry. And that's how it got its name, Hot Potters. It's as simple as that. It's stuck ever since. Rather interesting little facts, these, aren't they, how uh, areas get the names? I think I'll start a little series of this, you know, where we'll go round and we'll take a look at places with curious little names and uh, look at the history behind them. So, folks, that's it from me. Speaking of being hungry and, uh, you know, needing a bit of a meal, I think I'll get off and I'll get something, I'll go and forage and get something to eat. So, folks, until the next time, from myself, Mr H, it is... Bye-bye for now.